Thank you, Mr. President. I welcome Secretary General to the meeting today, and I thank him for the briefing. I've listened to the statement by the representative of Afghanistan. The situation in Afghanistan has undergone major changes. We respect the will and choices of our Afghan people. The war in Afghanistan has lasted for more than 40 years. Stopping the war and achieving peace is not only the unanimous aspiration of more than 30 million Afghan people, it is also the common expectation of the international community and the regional countries. The pressing task at the moment is to restore peace, stability and order as soon as possible, so as to avoid unnecessary casualties and large-scale refugees to the utmost extent possible. The rights and interests of diplomatic missions and personnel in Afghanistan are inviolable. The safety, security and interests of foreign nationals in Afghanistan must be respected and guaranteed. All parties in Afghanistan have the responsibility to protect people's lives and property. They should provide assurance for the safe residence and orderly evacuation of foreign citizens. President. China has always maintained that a political solution is the only way out for Afghanistan. At present, Afghanistan's national prospects are at a historic crossroads. China takes note of what was said by the Afghan Taliban yesterday, that the war in Afghanistan had ended and that it would negotiate to establish an open, inclusive Islamic government and it would take China expects that these commitments will be fulfilled so as to ensure a smooth transition of the situation, curb all kinds of terrorism and criminal acts, keep the Afghan people away from wars and chaos, and build their beautiful homeland. We hope that Taliban in Afghanistan will unite with all parties and ethnic groups in Afghanistan to establish a broad and inclusive political structure that suits its national conditions in order to lay the foundation to achieve lasting peace in the country. In the last 20 years, terrorist organizations such as Islamic State, Al-Qaeda and ATM have gathered and developed, and, uh, developed in Afghanistan, posing a serious threat to international and regional peace and security. Afghanistan must never again become a haven for terrorists. This is the bottom line. that the Taliban in Afghanistan will earnestly deliver on their commitments and make a clean break with the terrorist organizations. All countries should fulfill their obligations in accordance with international law and Security Council resolutions, work with each other in combating terrorism in all its forms and manifestations, and take resolute actions to prevent terrorist organizations such as Islamic State, Al-Qaeda and ETM from taking advantage of this chaos. As we speak, the humanitarian situation in Afghanistan is very dire. Humanitarian assistance and epidemic prevention and control are under tremendous pressure. The international community should scale up humanitarian assistance to Afghanistan and its neighbors that have received a large number of displaced persons from Afghanistan to help alleviate the regional humanitarian crisis. The relevant parties should ensure that the work of international humanitarian relief agencies can continue unhindered. The international community should also continue to help Afghanistan and its neighbors to control the pandemic as soon as possible. President, the chaos currently in Afghanistan is directly related to the hasty withdrawal of foreign troops. Relevant countries should earnestly deliver the commitment to support peace, reconciliation and reconstruction in Afghanistan and play a constructive role on the issue of Afghanistan. On the basis of respecting the leadership of Afghanistan and the relevant efforts of the neighboring countries in the political, security, development, humanitarian and anti-narcotics fields, constructive assistance to Afghanistan should be provided on a continuing basis. A few countries, a few council members said in their statement that they wish to see that greater roles played by Afghan's neighbors and regional countries. We learned that some regional countries and Afghan's neighbors had made requests to participate in today's, today's meeting. It is regrettable that their requests were not granted. 
for a long time, UNAMA mission has played an important role in supporting the peaceful reconstruction of Af Afghanistan. Given the current situation on the ground that has undergone major changes, we hope that the Secretary General will make proper arrangements to ensure the safety of personnel of the mission. We also look forward to the Secretary General presenting practical and actionable views and recommendations to the Security Council as soon as possible on the future UN presence in Afghanistan. Thank you, Mr. President.